there's a sort of built-in contradiction in that with poetry, you never know what's going to happen. There's just this unpredictable, wild element about it. If it's really poetry, when you sit down to write it, you don't have a clue what's going to really happen. Um, and so, you know, when you're going into a business context, they want a result of some kind. You know, they want to know that this is going to be something that's actually going to help their organization. You can't put poetry in the service of um, of something else. You know, you can't put poetry in the service of leadership. That doesn't work. Someone said to me, well, couldn't we write poems about leadership? I'm like, no, those would be horrible poems. You really can't do that. You have to let poetry be wild. So I ended up using metaphor as a kind of tool, which is a tool that poets use all the time. You know, you could start out a poem my relationship is like a bicycle, and then it'll take you, and all of a sudden you'll realize, oh my God, my relationship really is like a bicycle in some way, you know, that you hadn't expected. Or again, you can, con you can translate that to a business context where you set up, you know, here's this issue we haven't been able to solve, and we're going to compare it to a bicycle. And then all of a sudden, the mind goes to work, and it can bring up solutions and ideas that you would not have, have arrived at if you had just been thinking of that problem in the terms, in its own terms, in the terms that you've set up around that problem. So metaphor is really the mechanism that, that for me bridges that gap between the world of poetry and the world of sort of organizational development or leadership. Um, that, that poetry can actually be this just phenomenal tool for getting people to arrive at insights that they otherwise wouldn't have had. I think it's so important for students at CC right now who are going to be graduating and having to create their own careers, right? Because you don't get to graduate college and go work for some company and do that for 30 years. You know, our students aren't going to be doing that. So in a sense, everybody's going to have to be innovative in the way they approach their lives and their work. And so one thing I think is really valuable is to be able to have students have some real firsthand live experience of creativity and innovation and what that looks like, what it feels like, what the processes are like, and then to have some conceptual understanding of that too. So I feel like in a sense I'm working with some of the same things with CC students here that I'm working with with creative writing, creativity, innovation, and then working in these business contexts. It all seems like it's part of the same continuum.